The popularity of open world games is at an all-time high, and as developers look to leverage more powerful console hardware to craft even larger and more immersive game worlds, that popularity is going to keep going even higher. In 2021, for instance, there's no shortage of major exciting-looking open-world games coming out, and here that's exactly what we're going to talk about, as we take a look at a few of the most interesting open-world titles due out in 2021. Before we go ahead, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos every single day, and your support really helps us out. With that out of the way, let's start. Horizon Forbidden West Guerrilla Games' first crack at open-world game design was much better than it had any right to be, so it's no surprise that people are more than a little excited about the upcoming Horizon Forbidden West. The allure of going back into the beautifully desolate post-apocalyptic setting of Horizon would have been enough in and of itself to warrant that excitement, but the hope is that with more engaging exploration, a larger world, and improved mechanics, Forbidden West will be a significant step up over our predecessor. Gotham Knights We've been waiting a long, long time for the next Batman game from WB. And while Gotham Knights isn't quite that, it is, at the very least, the next best thing. And you know what? The chance to get to traverse Gotham City as not one, but four superheroes is nothing to scoff at. WB Games Montreal have promised a more immersive open world that feels more alive than the empty and dreary streets that defines the Arkham games. So, here's hoping Gotham Knights can make good on its potential. Stalker 2 Stalker 2 has been a long, long time coming. But if the game can replicate the horrific thrills of its predecessors, it might just be worth that wait. GSC Game World have said that Stalker 2's setting, The Zone, is going to be one of the largest seamless open worlds ever made. And that, combined with the promise of atmosphere and abundant scares that go hand in hand with Stalker, makes the shooter a very exciting proposition. Little Devil Inside Coming from indie studio NeoStream Interactive, Little Devil Inside might not be as huge or shiny as some of the other games on this list, but from all that we've seen of this game so far, there's plenty that's got our curiosity piqued. Its alternate supernatural version of the 19th century is a fascinating setting, and the central premise, which sees you playing as an explorer traversing a variety of different environments, could serve as the perfect foil for an engaging open-world adventure. New World It's hard to be successful in the MMO space. It's a genre that demands a lot of time and attention, and given the fact that the likes of World of Warcraft have a stranglehold over such a large number of people, means that any new MMO has to be really special right off the bat to capture the masses' attention. New World has the potential to do just that. The fact that it's being made by Amazon is reason enough to be skeptical. Their track record is as small as it is spotty. But if they can deliver a massive, engaging world to explore with complex role-playing mechanics and engaging, repeatable content, they might have a proper contender on their hands. Monster Hunter Rise Monster Hunter's idea of open world is quite different from what the term usually connotes, but as any series fan would tell you, it's just as alluring, if not more. With Monster Hunter Rise, Capcom are once again promising to deliver another dangerously addictive action RPG that lets you explore beautiful wilds and take on fantastical beasts and monstrosities in exciting battles. The addition of new traversal methods and mechanics should only make that open world that much more enjoyable to traverse. Hazel Sky Hazel Sky hasn't received a lot of attention as far as larger audiences are concerned, but this action-adventure title certainly seems to be making a lot of interesting promises. Based on what we've seen so far, Hazel Sky's setting is going to prioritize meaningful content and density over size for the sake of size. From exploring its beautiful and lush environments to getting to fly about in ramshackle machines, there's plenty about this game that's caught our attention so far. Atomic Heart Atomic Heart's development has been full of ups and downs, 
And given that erratic production cycle, it's not surprising that people are quite skeptical about how this game will ultimately turn out. If, however, it can do justice to what looks like a very interesting setting, it could be a game worth watching out for. Getting to explore an alternate history Soviet Union in the 1950s that's brimming with technologies like holograms and robots sounds exciting on paper. Let's just hope that that translates to gameplay as well. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 After having tried their hand at Lovecraftian horror with the sinking city, Frogwares are going back to the Sherlock Holmes property. And Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 might just turn out to be one of their better games yet. Players will step into the shoes of a young Sherlock Holmes and travel to a Mediterranean island rife with political corruption and crime. The developers are promising a world that's dense rather than large, and one that blends traditional exploration with underlying investigation and mechanics. They've definitely made it sound interesting. Here's hoping we get to see it in action soon, and that when we do, it looks as good as it sounds. Everspace 2 Everspace 2 is looking to be bigger and better than its already impressive predecessor in every way possible. From deeper role-playing mechanics to improved space combat, that's apparently going to be true about the game's world, or space, as well. A much larger map, alien species to encounter, a multitude of missions, side missions and activities to take on, many secrets to discover. These are just a few of the things Everspace 2 is promising. The game's already out in early access, and early reception has been strong so far, so things are looking good. Sons of the Forest End Night Games The Forest is easily one of the best survival games you can play right now. Its blend of survival mechanics and constant horror in a hostile open world environment is something that's enamored a whole lot of people. We might not have seen much of its sequel, Sons of the Forest, so far, but the quality of the first game and how on point the sequel's reveal trailer was with its weird horror vibes leads us to believe that there's definitely cause for optimism. Halo Infinite In today's day and age, it feels like going open world is an unavoidable step for nearly every major franchise out there. But while that doesn't necessarily feel like the right fit in many cases, with Halo, an open world approach is exactly what the series needs. Halo Infinite is promising to capture that sense of wonder and exploration that the series was defined by in its early years, but on a much larger scale, and with much greater player freedom this time around. Sure, the game might not have had the best gameplay showing last year, but with an additional year of development, we're hoping it'll turn out to be the shot in the arm that Halo so desperately needs. Hello Neighbor 2 the first Hello Neighbor was easily one of the most conceptually unique horror games we've seen in recent years. But with Hello Neighbor 2, it looks like things are going to be cranked up to 11. The sequel is promising to take the core ideas of the first game and blow them up in really interesting ways, putting players in an open world environment where a dynamic self-learning AI stalks them constantly. How that will work out remains to be seen. But we have to say, the idea has definitely piqued our curiosity. Biomutant It feels like we've been waiting for Biomutant for ages. After multiple delays though, Experiment 101's open world action RPG is almost upon us, and we'll finally get the chance to see if it was worth the wait. From a visually vibrant world to action-packed combat, to what certainly looks like fun traversal, Biomutant has looked like an intriguing prospect for a long time now, and hopefully those interesting ideas will be backed up by solid execution. Far Cry 6 With Far Cry 6, the developers are promising the larger and more diverse world set against the backdrop of what looks like a setting that's brimming with storytelling potential. If they can make good on those promises, they may have a real gem on their hands. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.